Every year, my family has a reunion. I'll never forget the one we had at the park. It was all Grandma's idea. The family that plays together stays together. If your family's like mine, you probably have relatives like my Uncle Ed. What you got there? Whose breath is so bad it could make a frog croak. My Aunt Janice loves slapping people on the butt. My cousin Vanessa has a bigger mustache than a video game plumber. Grandpa loves showing off his gallbladder scar. X marks the spot. Everyone asks me the same question. What grade are you in? Tenth. Honey, what grade are you in? Still tenth. Fantastic. Please don't slap my butt. Uncle Ed had an allergic reaction. Ow. Let's see the scar. We made a human pyramid, but we never should have put Cousin Bernie on top or Grandpa on the bottom. That's going to leave another scar. But the highlight was the tug of war. I guess Grandma was right. The family that plays together stays together, especially when there's mud involved. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. Our coming today's Brain Search champion. <laughs> Emma Jameson, what do you say we settle this with a knockout round? Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Make a match correctly, you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board, and that time starts right now. Emma, we're going to start with you. What's your first number? Three. Three. And? Twelve. And twelve. That's a match from where I'm standing. Jameson, how about it? First number? Fourteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. And fifteen. There's that Jeff Eating Blob that gave Nick and Garrett a run for their money. Emma. Um, nine. Nine. And ten. And ten. You got it. Jameson, over to you. 13. 13. And 8. And 8. Oh, not a match. Okay, we are now in sudden death territory. The next correct match is today's brain surge champion. Emma, first number. 5. 5. And 2. And 2 for the win. That's a match! Brain surge champion, Jameson. You played a great game, but you know what has to happen, buddy. Have a seat and hang on. at the chance to visit my favorite toy maker's workshop. I was so excited when I found the golden ticket good for a tour of Billy Bonkers Toy Factory. My brother Bobby and sister Courtney came along too. Billy Bonkers arrived in an elevator made of ice. Welcome. There's only one rule. Don't touch the toys. Then it was off to see how Mr. Bonkers, along with his helpers, the Baboon Palumpas, made all of his top-selling toys. There was the Super Spitter, Booger Babies, and even the Turbo Go-Go Pogo Stick. Then we entered a room filled with Mr. Bonkers' newest video game, B.O. Ogres. Without thinking, Bobby grabbed the game controller and started playing. Suddenly, he was sucked into a video game world and was being chased by odorous ogres. Before Courtney and I could do anything, Billy Bonkers hurried us into another room. The Baboon Palumpas were busy assembling the doll with a sweet smile, Buffy Burp. Courtney reached out to hug one, and like that, she was turned into a life-size doll. Then I was whisked into a room with Bonkers' most popular creation, Robobat. As I moved Whoa. in for a closer look, Bonkers got ready to bonk me. Hold it! I have an idea for the biggest selling toy of all time. But first, I want my brother and sister back. So we helped launch Bonkers' craziest toy of all, the Billy Bonkers action figure. Only $24.99. Get yours today. That's but there was one that was definitely the craziest. I was captain of the debating team and the football team. Everyone wanted my autograph, even Principal Snurkin. Still, I felt something was missing. But then I spotted Leah singing up a storm at the Glee Club auditions. I had to meet her, so I auditioned and got in. Mainly because the director, Mr. Brewster, wanted my autograph. We learned cool songs like the Johnny and the Spots hit, Don't Stop or Leaving. And Leah taught me some hot dance moves. Then one day, our Glee Club was challenged to a song and dance-off by the Zombie High Cheerleaders. 
Their head coach, Scary Sue, was the lead zombie in the 80s music video, Shriller. She was always saying, Eat your heart out. And she meant it. We arrived at Zombie High at 8 o'clock sharp. When we saw the judges, we knew we were doomed. The zombies performed a dance called Ghoul Digger. They were good, though they missed a few steps because they lost a few limbs. Then we did a high-kicking number titled Boom Boom Kapow. We wanted first place, but the zombies wanted us as their first course. Ray. Thinking quickly, I picked Leah up and spun her around. We won the competition, and the zombies learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes winning takes more than just brains. Brains. That but I was a superhero in high school. Don't believe me? They're even making a comic book based on my life. A freak accident during a field trip to the LOL lab left me with a strange ability. So I became Slime Man. Luckily, being a superhero didn't go to my head. Although I did own a Slime Man lunch pail, action figure, hair gel, and toilet paper. But I didn't have much time for my girlfriend, Jane Mary. Help! My purse! No need to thank me, ma'am. You ought to be ashamed of yourself! Here! What? Bank guard slime? Slime man suspect? But everyone knows that slime is only used for good, not evil. Undeterred, that night I responded to another robbery in progress. Hey, this isn't slime. Bingo, slimy. The green globule? I get the money, you get the blame. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> But I protected myself with slime until I tripped over the guard. Sayonara, slime ball. Not so fast. Who are you? I'm Sneeze Girl. Achoo! Bless you. Don't mention it, Jeff. Jane Mary? But how'd you know it was me? Your mole gave you away. Oh, him. Jane Mary, you're the best. Aw, aw. That's my story, and it's all true. All right, you guys know... One time, I formed an elite squad of super smarties to answer life's puzzling questions. First, we needed a name, so we put our heads together and became... A plus B. Bobby had a myth he wanted to bust. If a bear farts in the forest and no one's there to hear it, does it make a sound? We went to work immediately. Daria built a tutometer. Gene attended lectures at the Polypartnik Institute. Energy equals gas times cheeks squared. And Poindexter scouted our subject. <laughs> the next day, we returned to the forest to test our hypothesis. But first, we had to find our subject. Now, I fell on my protractor. Then suddenly, as planned, our subject stumbled upon our five-pound bean and cheese burrito. So we started up our fart cannon. I tailed it out of there so we could give our subject some privacy. Then finally, we had the answer. Silent, but deadly. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. Sometimes, life in my neighborhood is so strange, it's almost like a storybook. On the 15th of May in the neighborhood of Nerb, on a hot summer's day not far from the curb, we were busy playing with our toys when Norton the Hippo heard a small noise. We both stopped and looked all around. That's strange. I thought, there's no one to be found. What could it be? Norton did ask. It's not Mr. Lemonade cutting the grass. And it surely wasn't Mrs. Wheeling squealing while potato peeling. It certainly wasn't Mr. Manila or the red farting gorilla that knocks out Miss Rose Nose whenever he eats vanilla. Time out. Animals loose? Call the city zoo. Yep, Jeff, that's right. It's 100% true. Then Norton got nervous, and we all could tell when his mom stood on the porch and began to yell. You're in trouble if you don't clean that yard. But there's too much stuff. This will be too hard. Then all of a sudden, that small noise grew loud, and around the corner came a fast-moving cloud. Wow, look at that, a supersonic street sweeper that can clean anything faster and deeper. Then we hopped on and took a lap and swept the whole neighborhood in just a snap. You did such a good job, you hit a year's worth of ice cream. But then the gorilla farted, and I awoke from my dream. Did that really just happen? It sure did, and I hope you were laughing. 
That's my story, and it's all 100% true. My okay. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. And remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. I'll never forget the time I was late for a very important date with a girl named Alice. I was in such a hurry, I didn't see the open manhole. Suddenly, I was falling past a jellyfish, a watchdog, and a firefly. I found a little green bottle labeled Slime Me. So I did. And I got so small, I was swimming in a sea of slime. I grabbed the branch and came face to face with a frown which was actually the upside-down smile of the Cheshire Bat. You're just in time for the Mad Hairdresser's pee party. There was the Mad Hairdresser, and the hair he was dressing were both drinking pea soup. Mind your peas and poo. My what? Poo, poo. Poo. A total egghead was falling off a wall. Who are you? I am the Eggman. Cuckoo, and choo. <laughs> I knew he was headed for a big breakup when I saw his crack. Let's play dodgeball! I soon learned why she's called the Queen of Farts. Off with his nose! I ran and ran, straight up the manhole. But it turned out it was all a dream. Right. Now remember, everything I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true. I just saw the newest science fiction movie, and it is out of this world. It's called Star Wars. The story of an adventurous Luke Moonwalker in his quest to rid his nose of a terrible war. It's here that Luke meets crazy old dermatologist Obi-Wan Kenobi. Princess Lufa from the evil Darth Exfoliator. I'll take you to your princess. Who are you? I'm Han So Lame, and this is my partner, Barry the Walking Lip Bomb. There's the Death Bot, Darth Exfoliator's secret weapon. It has the power to sink up an entire planet. I sense a disturbance in your walk. Ow! Darth Exfoliator must be near. Once inside the Death Bar, Luke sent his two droids, C-PPO and r 2 Pipu, to save Princess Lufa. Ow! Oh my! Occupado! Suddenly, Luke was face to face with Darth Exfoliator. Ah, Luke, I've been waiting for you. Let us battle using radioactive soap on a rope. I'll never use my words for evil Darth Exfoliator. Her heart, my grandma, the most clueless of all when it comes to birthday gifts. 
She gave me a personalized teddy bear. She's been giving me this since I was five. A 2003 groundhog calendar, and groundhogs freak me out. A sweater knit from my grandma's old sweaters, and it smells like mothballs and bingo. Then there are those gifts that you just know were on sale, like a nose warmer, and this is great until you get a runny nose. A soup spinner, it's like the salad spinner, only a lot messier. An earwax cleaner, I still have water in my ear from that one. And a beef jerky wallet, and if it ever wears out, I can always eat it. But this year my family finally gave me something really cool. My very own singing shark. And it doesn't get any better than that. That's my story guys, and it's all true. For those of you who are a little short for your age, I can relate. I was once 10 inches tall. My pants were gone for the day and put me in charge. But first I had to take charge of those big zit on my forehead. Guaranteed to shrink pimples. Holy zit cream! Unfortunately, it shrunk me instead. Thinking quickly, I had Courtney dress me in some of her old doll clothes. Do these stripes make me look short? I was still in charge, even though I was only 10 inches tall. Courtney, it's your turn to make breakfast. Eating oatmeal proved to be a challenge. All right, short time, everybody. I turned washing dishes into a sport. There's up, dude! and used Bobby's toy crane to clean the litter box. Uh-oh. But I wasn't sure how I was going to write my English paper until I discovered the jump in pet method. Then I was really hungry, so I went to get a snack. But I remembered I was vertically challenged. Luckily, I spotted some Swiss cheese on the floor. Five-hour rule. So good. But I had company. Rat! I was on the verge of being a rat snack until I spotted Bobby's remote-controlled race car. Talk about rat race. Done for when <laughs> boy was I happy to see Fluffy until she coughed up a furball. But luckily for me, something in that furball turned me to normal size. Hi Jeff, we're home. Some things are even more embarrassing than this. That's my story, and it's all.